Hello guys, it's Jonali Samuel Brown. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, can you consider subscribing? And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for your support. Now, the music industry is mourning the loss of legendary artist Shari Martin, best known for his timeless hit Rafiki Pesa. Martin passed away on August 2nd, 2024 at the age of 54 while receiving treatment at Kenyatta National Hospital. The sad news was confirmed by Martin's close female friend and fellow artist who only identified herself as Paulina. She said she's assisting with the burial arrangements. According to Pauline, who answered calls made on Martin's known phone number, the singer fell ill on July 27, 2024 and was rushed to the hospital where he was diagnosed with pneumonia. I quote her. Martin was recovering well and was supposed to be discharged, but he developed breathing difficulties. Unfortunately, he did make it, make it and passed away on August 2nd, 2024. We later learned that he had been battling the condition for a while and had not sought any medical attention until it became severe. End of quarter. Pauline said, family and friends are meeting in Choka, Kangundo Road, Nairobi, at Mze Matthew Komores Plaza. Fellow artist Jafet Kasonga told Told, told us that a WhatsApp group has already been created to channel contribution to support the family in planning his burial. Shari Martin is remembered for his significant contribution to the Kenyan music scene, particularly his Rafiki Pesa, which resonated with many for its powerful message. In an interview in February this year, Martin reflected on the inspiration behind the hit record, record Rafiki Pesa, released in 1998. I quote, I was very young and working as a chef then. I worked for about 35 years in, a, in the hotel industry. I used to see nuns coming with fathers and staying there. They would spend about two months there and then say they had been on a retreat. I realized that was dangerous. I saw the same thing happening with men who instead of bringing their families came with their girlfriends instead. End of quote. Martin reflected on his life. He went on. I quote, HIV infection was also very prevalent at the time and I would interact with so many sick people. That is how my song was inspired to teach men to spend more time with their families. I did not do much to promote that song. End of quote. Shari Martin's song resonated with the everyday experiences and challenges young people face. He was a skilled chef and worked in the hotel industry before fully transitioning to music. I quote, I quit the hotel industry because of health issues. Initially, I used to do both music and hotel, but it was too much work. I bought my musical instruments with the money I got from my hustles back then. End of quote. He said, his other songs include Mambo Ya Dunia, Tangazo La Jabu, Wanadamu Ni Waongo, among others. May Martin's soul rest in eternal peace. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more news updates. And remember... You can support this channel by sending anything that you have, whether it's 5 bob, 10 bob, 20 bob, 30 bob, or anything that you have through the MPSA support line 0740-354-235. 0740-354-235. Your support will be highly appreciated. Thanks.